Hello everyone, this is Kuroda giving you a shoutcast between Plywood and Gosu. Now, I do not know who these players are, so Plywood is spawning over here on the top right hand corner as the red human player. Meanwhile, we have Gosu spawning over here on the bottom left hand side as the blue undead. So, Gosu quickly getting that crypt early and still waiting to see if he's gonna get an altar of darkness. No, uh, n what, Necropolis? Um. What the heck? Alright, so I swear this game came very highly rated. Um, I've never seen an early Necropolis build ever. So we'll see how this game goes. Plywood currently getting that barracks and that altar of kings with that additional farm. And now gonna go ahead and finish off that wall in right now. That plywood is, or that Necropolis is not being cancelled. So, um, what, what, and he's now he's, Dancing around with a single acolyte. Um, I am so confused. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I am completely at a loss for words. If, if this is some unconventional strategy, and uh, and they, and somehow uses mass acolytes with mass. Um, I don't know shades all around the map to keep track of what's going on. That would really be a surprise. But yeah, mass necropolis is something I have never ever seen before. Right now we have a militia now coming in from plywood so plywood coming in and is gonna go, go see what gosu is trying to do and maybe a little bit taken back by seeing an early necropolis i know i have never seen an early necropolis before but plywood obviously trying to get that um and altar of kings probably has a strategy um, now getting that halls of the dead so going going for a very 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 quick tier two Oh, so, okay, so Gosu, the whole entire point of that additional necropolis is so that he can um, pr keep on producing acolytes while the Halls of the Dead is currently upgrading the tier 2. So now getting that um, Ziggurat into play and getting a, 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 yeah, that secondary necropolis is in play and now that acolyte just running back and forth trying to do some scouting. Um, Plywood may, Plywood's just doing the standard Archmage with Militia creeping right now trying to take down this Troll Trapper over here. And wow, well, this is just this is just weird right there. Fish, I don't know what that means. Anyways, um, if you guys know what language that is, Fishki Spies. Um, yeah. Anyways, right now we have the troll, uh, the trapper now being taken down. Archmage will be close to level two, but not quite right there. And we finally have an altar of darkness and a graveyard. So this is a complete wall in halls of the dead. And Necropolis is yeah was built in order to make sure that there is no additional. Uh, no additional harassment coming in on this main gold mine right now, and that necropolis is almost acting like an additional graveyard, making it so that um, he doesn't have to travel as far with those ghouls to harvest additional lumber right now. Right now, that archmage pretty much going to get up to level two, um, pretty much uninterrupted right now, He's taking out that and getting those no poachers as well, and now um, creeping out. So obviously, I would say that the advantage belongs to plywood. Plywood having a level two hero. While Gosu has a level, doesn't have a hero at all, but now getting that Halls of the Dead. So, and, wait, un unsummoning, is he unsummoning the crypt? He is unsummoning the crypt. Uh, I have, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. Getting a graveyard, but unsummoning the crypt, so what is he going to produce? Um, I, I wish I knew. I really wish I knew right now. Altar of Darkness now in the play, and it's a Lich as the first hero. Okay, Lich as the first hero, not even the Death Knight. Um, yes, every single thing I thought I knew about Warcraft 3 and how to play Undead is now going to be completely thrown out the window. Archmage now coming in trying to figure out what exactly the strategy is going to be. Does not start creeping over here. We're now heading off to the center of the map right now. And we are now upgrading the Black Citadel. So already upgrading the Black Citadel. Uh, very, very important um, as that Black Citadel will be able to open up higher tech units. Necropolis, on the other hand, sitting over here, able to produce additional acolytes if needed. Um, ghouls, well, I still don't see a reason why he had to unsummon that, um, unsummon that crypt right now. But he unsummoned the crypt and now he's getting the slaughterhouse. Archmage is still confused, like, where exactly is this creeping coming in? Plywood not doing a good job scouting and is now going to come across this main base, main base and now trying to take down this extra Necropolis. This extra Necropolis just sitting here and now those, um, those foot and that was, and that um, and what that cold tower is going to start to engage right now. Lich now going to start to come back in and try to start dealing damage to that water elemental. And what plywood should really just really try to push right here, but plywood because he is taking the tier two does not have as have as much to really push right now. Um, if plywood, if he tries to go for mortar teams, will be able to use those mortar teams and push on this relatively small weak base right now. Currently, Gosu sitting at 19 over 40 food. Um, 
And now getting an, an, but an, an, no, Temple of the Damned. Okay, so are we going to see Necro Wagon? Necro Wagon may be the strategy as we have a Slaughterhouse and Temple of the Damned now being brought into play. Gosu also having that single spirit tower in that back. Lich now coming over to over here to the tavern. Is he going to pick up a tavern hero? No tavern hero. And the Lich is just running around by himself. No boots of speed. So he's just running really slow. Archmage on the other hand. Going to try to take down these Null Assassins. And this last Null Overseer. Get close to level 3 but not quite. Lich still moving around the map. Trying to make sure that there is no expansion coming in from Plywood. So no expansion. Gosu now just moving around. Still trying to check. We have a footman making sure that there is no expansion over here. As this is probably such an unconventional game. No one knows what uh, where everyone is right now. Undead player has limited scouting and limited information on the map, while Plywood has a higher level hero right now. So we'll see how this is going to work out. Lich finally buying. No, Lich not buying anything. Wow, this is probably the most boring game I've commented in quite some time. Hopefully it will pick up, and hopefully it's rated higher, high for a reason right now. Lich now. Gonna just loiter at the shop again. You know, buying the staff of teleportation. And is he gonna teleport anywhere? We have, yes, meat wagon. So it is, in fact, gonna be necro wagon. So necro wagon strategy. A single meat wagon sitting in that base. So while well, that necro wagon is, is a pretty interesting strategy, I, I must say, um, now that the mo even if he does get mortar teams, um, it's not going to really work. So right now, in the middle of the game, um, that that necro wagon is going to work out pretty well against this fight right now. We're going to try to try to focus down and that. Um, that low hit point, nope, not going to be able to focus on anything as that Mountain King now comes back out. And Staff of Teleportation down to 129, 37, 18 hit points, able to escape with 18 hit points. Wow. So um, now we have Gosu sitting in the middle of his base with 38, 40 hit points right now. And are those Nico, are those meat wagons picking up any of those bodies? No, not even picking up bodies at the graveyard yet. Now I'm upgrading that master training of that necromancer and now trying to get more necromancers as well. And single footman still running around the map right now. Healing coming in. Archmage sitting at level 3. Mountain King sitting at level 1. A Lich sitting at level 1 with 0 experience and 100 mana or 100 hit points. And now Atoma Relic's finally being um, summoned into play in order to get a, probably a potion of healing right now. Mountain King putting a bolt off on that troll warlord. Couple of units being ensnared, no defend being researched anywhere. And now we have um, what Mountain King and Rifleman, Archmage. So um, pretty much a standard opening. If we were playing Reign of Chaos, Rifleman and Mountain King with Archmage, and or Rifle and Footman with Archmage and Mountain King. That's a pretty like pretty a cookie cutter build from the old school days. Right now we also have a um, long distance range upgrade and a single Sanctum and producing casters in order to do more healing. So that Archmage going to try to continue to creep creep as aggressively as possible gonna drop a water elemental no no water elemental is gonna turn around and start firing at back at these units and mountain king sitting at level one almost level two meanwhile in the main base gosu still getting um uh, uh, they're finally meat wagons finally getting some skeletons into that um corpse right in there and um, what we had the staff of teleportation being sold by gosu and now we have an orb of corruption so um, Slaughterhouse is still producing additional meat wagons. Necromancer still being trained. Um, getting that um, what that skeletal mastery is to be able to raise undead mages as well. So we're going to get some range units from there. Mountain King sitting at level 2. Getting a potion of invulnerability. Priests have been trained. I do not see the adept training yet. So there's going to be no dispel magic. Right now if, that, uh, right now, if um, Plywood was able to do some scouting and sees in fact that there is going to be a lot of casters. Uh, a lot of necromancers. He may try to get that um, that training up a little bit faster right now. We have skeletal minions now coming in the, in the play. Those skeletal minions quickly going to get taken down, but that troll warlord focused down so quickly due to that negative five armor, potion of inv invulnerability, and uh, slippers of agility being left behind. More necromancers being brought in. Those, the um, obsidian statue not pro or finally providing some healing. Level two on that lich right now, so that lich continuing to fight back, able to take down some of those troll trappers with ease. Meanwhile, we have that mm, the priest and sitting, uh, priest and mountain king and that archmage now going to be coming in, perhaps going to stop, try to push into here at this point. And now here we have our first major confrontation. And necromancer down to 62 hit points, getting a bolt down it goes. And meat wagons are completely full, and all those skeletal minions now coming in, trying to fight back against all those units. 
focus fire down goes another footman and more skeletal minions getting taken down and more and skeletal mages being brought into play bolt off on that necromancer and here comes this fight sorceress is casting slow um, and now that lich even attacking even faster as it has that unholy frenzy trying to chase down units down goes another rifleman and um, is it going to go down uh, down it goes level three on that lich right now lich may be able to um, come in and get another frost nova off and start focusing down more of those sorceresses stay tuned for part two of this curious replay between plywood and gosu here on melting valley <laughs>